Wasabi, you guys. I want to show you my winning integrals. So these integrals are, they're technically considered finals round integrals, but in this YouTube channel, uh, they're very easy integrals. <laughs> but I mean, what do you expect? They're from like community colleges and like very underrated universities. But I mean, it's okay. So here are these uh, integrals that I've solved and made me win the integration bees. Okay, let me start with my first integral that made me win. So this is the integral that made me win my first, uh, not my first, uh, my second integration bee that I've competed. But it was the first integration bee that I won. And it was at a community college. It was this integral here. What you do is you would let x equal 4 sine theta. Of course, this is technically, this is a, it's a textbook problem. But, I mean, I don't mind it. It's, it's okay. I'm not going to complain. Because, I mean, it's, it's, you know, like, what do you expect from community college integration bees? There is a lot of, a lot of times, uh, easier integration bees or beginner integration bees, uh, a lot of the problem writers or the uh, staff and faculty, they'll just use the calculus textbook. And that's okay, I guess. So I was given this. At least it wasn't ugly. Thank goodness. Right? I didn't. Ha I wasn't given or thrown like a CAS, a computer algebra system integral. Like, thank God they didn't do that. But this is just a simple trick sub. You could do U substitution. But when I was, during the time, I mean, I didn't know any better. <laughs> I just like, all right, screw it, trick sub. And so I did trick sub. And so I ended up with, what, I got like 64 sine cube times 4 cosine theta. And then I got 4 C, oh, okay, so they canceled out. And I got like 64 s 1 minus c square and then it's now negative 64 uh, 1 minus u square where u was equal to cosine theta and now I got like negative so I can just change this as 64 to u cubed minus 3 minus u right and then now I got 64 over 3 cosine cubed of sine theta, I'm sorry, so theta is equal to inverse sine of x4. And I, I remember exactly, I literally, I kept my answer like this. Uh, it's cosine inverse sine of x over 4. Yeah, and I left my answer like this. And they had to, uh, they used Wolfram Alpha to judge my answer and they declared that I'm the winner of this integration B. So this was my answer and I got it right. This was the route that I uh, took during that time because I didn't think about doing U sub. I'm like, okay, it's finals round. Once I see the integral, integrate. And so I did that and I just, I the first thing that came to my head was trig sub. And I'm like, all right, screw it, trig sub. I didn't think anything further because I didn't, it was, um, this, this integration B was head to head. It was MIT style. So you have to solve it before your opponent does. And so that's that was my mindset was like, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I'm gonna solve it before my opponent does. And I did. And I got it first. This was the integral that the first time I won my integration B. All right, this is my second integral that I've won. So this one is at Fresno State and I kid you not, uh, nowadays in university integration bees, high schoolers are competing. And so it was, I remember it was like finals round, it was me against a community college student against a high schooler. We were thrown with this integral here. In the Fresno State integration bee, it's not MIT style, it's a time attack. And so instead of going against your opponent, you go against the time. The timer and so again you only have two minutes on the clock and you have this uh, finals round integral so how did I approach this so I let you 
equal square root of x and then 2u du is equal to dx and so I just kind of just kind of dived in and I got like u squared plus 1 and I was like oh okay this is inverse tangent of u minus u and then I'm technically done <laughs> and this and there you go I'm done and I just I kind of waited <laughs> for my other opponents to finish and we and I waited and then uh, surprisingly no one got the answer but me and I was declared the winner and I don't blame them it's because this is not usually doing a forced u substitution you don't learn that in a calculus class okay I just just to remind you you don't learn forced u substitutions in a regular it's not normal to do forced u subs in general right but when it comes to speed integration it's crucial you have to know how to do forced u substitutions Okay, so this was the integral that made me win uh, my, my Fresno State integration B. Kind of easy. <laughs> Not to brag, but it was, I mean, what do you expect? It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a top school, but it's still, it's still nice. So it's okay. And finally, my third integral that made me win uh, the Fresno State integration B. At this point, like, it doesn't get too difficult. You can already tell this is super easy, right? Um, but, I mean, what do you expect? Not, it's speed integration, you have to think about it, it's not popular. But, I mean, it's, it's okay. I don't mind. Um, this is, even though this is kind of a textbook integral, <laughs> I can tell. Uh, but I don't mind, I'm like, yeah, alright, I'll just, I'll just integrate this. So. Uh, but during this time though, oh my god, this year integration B, I was going, it was me against two high schoolers and a middle schooler. Yes, a middle schooler was competing at integration B and was was actually catching up all the way to a finals round. It was crazy. That young lad did got an award for participating because it's, it's impressive to see a middle schooler compete in a university integration B. Like, come on. Do you know, do you not understand how brave you have to be to catch up all the way to, like, finals round? <laughs> Jesus. But, but you know me as usual. I showed no mercy. So, to speed integrate this, I let this go to I. Right? And I was like, okay, so this is sine 3x. And this is e to the 5x. And now I got negative 3 cosine of 3x. And negative 3 sine of 3x here. And then this is the same thing, but with one fifth of one twenty fifth, right? So my i is equal to e to the five x to one fifth of sine three x, and then I got e to the five x twenty fifths of I'm sorry three twenty five three twenty five cosine three x, and then we had minus 3 over 25 i okay and so now i go ahead and add this and i add this up i get what was 25 plus 3 28 over 25 20 over 25 and that reciprocates to 25 over 28 of e to the 5x of 1 fifth of sine 3x minus 3 over 25 cosine 3x. So now when we reciprocate it, our answer becomes e to the 5x over 28. That 25, we get sine of 3x minus 3 cosine 3x and then plus c. Now, as for like in a regular calculus class, it is a type of integration by parts that's the hardest, right? Doing a recursion like this, recursion integration by parts, is the hardest integration by parts because it's not very, it, I mean, look at this, it's a mess. 
right? So for a lot of students, they will lose track very easily and they would get the wrong answer. And so, of course, I was the only person that got it right and I was declared winner. Uh, and I don't blame them because this is, look, come on, like this is nasty, 28 over 25, right? You, you know, if you miss a constant, that's horrible, right? And doing this, especially like speed integrating, like this takes a lot of time. You know, I just have speed integration experience, so I was able to do some abbreviation shortcuts. I know how to keep track and uh, keep track of my notation and then just solve. I was able to get it under two minutes and the rest, uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't get the right answer. And I don't blame you, right? If you rush, if you rush, try to speed integrate, uh, you're, you're less likely to be accurate. Um, that's just, uh, I mean, c because you're going too fast. You, you lose track of certain small details that you might miss. Of course, as always, be accurate and be careful. So yeah, this was my winning integral. So that's it. So those are all the winning integrals. I know these are very easy, but like, what do you expect? <laughs> I, don't, I don't go to a top school, so... Uh, but I mean, let's face it, I think it was a great integration beat because you do have to think about your audience. You can't just throw, oh, it's still a hard integral because it's like entertaining. No, you do have to consider, you have to be very considerate with your comp uh, with the competitors, the type of audience that you have, whether they're actually, you know, like MIT students, oh, they're very good, or community college students, they only know like basic integration. So keep it, you know, keep it at minimum. And I had fun. Uh, either way, no matter how easy or how hard the integrals were, uh, I'll always have fun because when the adrenaline kicks in, it's an entirely different story. Okay. All right. I hope this was kind of helpful. Be accurate. Don't go too fast. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.